Hi, this is Mandy from Learning a Journaling and we're looking at the Kinder Kids Learning Journal. This is the Spice version. The other option is the Cute Animals one. So let's have a quick look inside. I've done this all to be printed single-sided. So this explains how to use the journal, what you will learn, all the different topics that are covered. So if you are in Australia, this does cover the early stage one. This is for New South Wales. Um, I haven't checked the Australian curriculum. It is possible that it mostly is covered as well. And then I've got, so this is just a handy section divider so you can keep things tidy. We we'll start out with a self portrait and I explain here why we do a self portrait. And then we have the sight words. And all the Barefoot Book songs. And these, you don't need to own them. They're all on YouTube. But I've linked all the outcomes to the songs. So that's a fun way for kids to get their creative arts in with the music. And all sorts of crafty things. And lessons in each of the songs. So let's just have a look here. So each section has an intro. So this is song five. So you can split it up into a week. Like I've suggested here. Or... If your child works faster or slower, you can adapt that. So we start out with activity pages, read the poem, watch the song, and then complete the activities afterwards. Day two, you would go and look for the math page, and that's where you would have it in a different section. And again, I've done this because um, different kids are at different levels, so meet your child where they're at. So let's have a look at this one, Nick Knack Paddywhack. So you read out the poem to them, which is the song lyrics. They do some of these exercises. I've kept it quite simple for the first sections. For the days of the week. Help them get their heads around that. And this one is based on musical instruments. So there's the sight words that we've pulled out. The basic alphabet. Also in the earlier sections. A few more sight words. I don't think this is in the right order. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Uh, this one is tomorrow is and the other one was today is and then we'll also have a yesterday was to so help them get their heads around that concept matching old and new some drawing skills um this one here song six head shoulders knees and toes so this one we're doing in about the body so how to keep your body healthy you can print extra pages of this sight words some body language there's the space theme coming through there. So the first sections are quite simple. But as we go along, let's see what's song eight. So this again is still in the early sections. This is about transport, cars, tractors, diggers. Uh, this is all about the neighborhood and colors as well. Get your paints out. So this is why I keep it single-sided. So you pull the page up, do your painting. Um, and then later on as we go, so this is now the second part of the journal or second half. You can see how we get a little bit more writing work in here. So here's the new today's page. So they will have to write the day of the week. They may need to go back to the other pages to check the spelling and so on. But they bring in the month of the year and the day of the month. The sight words. This one's all about space, this section. So they can learn all about the planets and the order that they're in. Names of the planets. And my new words. And that's how we go along. So the different sections that you can add in then for the extra pages, the letter learning, science and physical fun. So you can see here, letter learning. And again, you can choose what days you want to do it on. I'll just get through here. So we have uh, the letter learning. So for kids that are not... Um, they don't know the letters, you use these pages. And this is for the parents to actually write the diff all the different ways an A can be written. And you can see there's the round A, but then you also get the A that's kind of um, an older version of doing it. You can do bubble letters, just show them all the different creative ways they can do letter A's. And then they can choose the, the circle of things that start with A. So if a child needs to go right back to basics, you start with 
for this section and again work it through at their pace. And then we have the maths. Again, work it through at your child's pace. This starts from very basic letter learning, so you can do this with much younger kids as well. And the very simple sums. So there's always the amount of um, elements that they need to work out their sums. And later in the math section, we have some sum practice there, addition and subtraction. We have some fractions. So they would need to cut out this page, color it in, cut it up, just to expose them to it. This is not necessarily mastery at this stage, this is exposing. So we've got length, volume, all sorts of fun little maths activities. So we have maths as well in the maths section. And as part of expectations for early stage one, they need to learn to count to 30. So this is a way to get their heads around the numbers that lead to 30. So just as, as you see, it needs to be added in. A little exercise for them to do once a week or twice a week, however many times you feel. And that is an option for your kiddos to get their heads around counting to 30. So the next section is um, book reports. Oh, let me just show you this. Maths is more than just addition. It's all sorts of, there's money in there, tracking your week, tracking your day, lots of fun activities for the kids. Book reports, this is just a very simple way for them to do their first book review. Um, so you read a story to them and you can help them fill it in, right? what the book was called, who it was written by, and they can draw pictures of what it was about and um, their rating on the book. So even if they don't enjoy it, get them to fill it in. It's a great way for them to do uh, critical analysis and just think for themselves. So then creative writing with space themed creative writing all throughout and draw their own if that's what they're more into adapted to whatever your child's needs are and then our science pages lots of fun activities for science and of course you can add into this all these sections can be expanded on with library books um, documentaries whatever you feel is needed so they have some cooking sections and then they also have science experiments so this is going out on walks and finding opposites and uh, drawing the opposites this one is pulse, a really fun way to check your pulse. And again, tracking with um, graphs and so on and all sorts of other science activities in there. Physical fun is uh, your phys physical education and just a few fun activities to add in. Again, you can count anything as physical education, visiting the playground and watching them do upside down cartwheels and all sorts of things that all gets counted towards it. Any running around, riding bicycles, riding skateboards. These are just fun little ones that are very specific for the age. And to end it all, there is also the certificate. So they can um, make a little hat, a graduation hat. You can fill in their names, laminate it, and take their end of year kindy photo. So lots of fun in this journal. And um, this is available at learningandjournaling.com. Thank you.